Hi, I'm Michael, CEO of X2AI. And today, I'm going to tell you a real life story. One in four Americans suffer from some form of mental illness at some point throughout their lives. So in this room, there would be around 30, 40 people. Well, don't worry, I'm one of them. The CDC has estimated that yearly, over $30 billion are lost in productivity lost caused by depression alone. This is only one of the reasons why Obama passed the Affordable Care Act, giving people access to small budgets to actually seek help. But now we get to the next bottleneck. The healthcare system is simply not ready for this increase in demand. This is the problem we're solving. Ideally, we'd have a solution that's there 24-7 for the patient. And therefore, it has to be scalable to help all these people. But it shouldn't become impersonal, so it needs to be emotional as well. And in order to adapt to every person's own life story, it needs to be self-learning. Only if we do all that, we will get to a truly patient-centered solution. However, this is a very heavy load for the therapists to carry alone. And that's why there are tests to help them out. He is our emotional, artificial intelligence who holds conversations with the patient and thereby assisting the therapist in delivering the treatment. He finds the patients where they are people, like you and me, just keeping in touch with friends and loved ones using SMS or WhatsApp. Now, this all sounds like a dream, but I promised you a real life story. We're in the market today. Our first pilot is with a large mental health clinic for whom we are supporting their patients during their internet-based therapy. Normally, a therapist would have to pick up the phone, although they're already so busy and overburdened. Now, we will be there for the patient 24-7, either to just chat or to help them remind them of the coping mechanisms they learned during their therapy. We started off with 100 patients. However, they soon asked us if we could ramp this up to 5,000. Our second pilot is with a large hospital. For them, we're supporting patients with diabetes by providing them access to psychological support and thereby lifting their barriers to therapy adherence. Their therapists are so excited about working with our system and getting this work partially off their plate that they actually make their own schedules available to improve our system even more. This pilot will start beginning next year. Now, how is this all possible, you might wonder. We've done over eight years of research into machine learning and psychology to create an emotion algorithm, which is able to figure out how people are feeling and to determine what is the best way to respond to really start creating an emotional bond. And secondly, our talk therapy engine determines the content of these conversations and is based on cognitive behavioral therapy, which has been proven over and over again to be effective in treating mental illness. Now, our hard work didn't go unnoticed. As Pascal said before, we won the Innovation Award at Exponential Medicine, giving us industry acknowledgement. Now, who's the team behind X2AI? I'm Michael, I'm the CEO, and my co-founder is Eugene, who's the CTO. Then we have our board of advisors. Let me tell you about Cameron Sapa. He's been with Omada Health since the early days. This is a really large healthcare startup that has raised over 70 million in venture funding. So he's, he's very good at guiding us as a small startup through the difficult healthcare system to make sure that we can really grow up. And then last but not least, Derek G and Rebecca Obi are two psychologists. Now I wish to make two more points. Firstly, if this sounds interesting to you, and you might know potential future customers, or if you can help us rounding out our seed round, please come see us at our table. And lastly, I wish to leave you with one final thought. Tess saves lives. In the future,
protests will help prevent people from taking their lives. Today, she helps people fight their mental illness so that they can truly start living their lives. Thank you.